Hey there, so today we're taking a look at Battlefield 1 running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5600H. Now this is running on the B-Link SCR5 Mini PC. The game itself is running with the lowest in-game graphics settings. We are using the DirectX 12 API and we are on the 23.4.3 driver. Now the overall level of performance that we're getting like this is passable enough, though it isn't exactly the greatest experience ever. The 1% lows are still within a range that is at least acceptable though not the most ideal for a online first person shooter and the fps average is shy of the 60 that we would like to see but considering that we are at the full 1080p resolution it is impressive numbers if you don't mind taking a hit to the visual quality of the game you can always drop the resolution down to around 900p and that's pretty much going to give you an above 60 fps average but i can understand how you would not want to drop the resolution in what is a competitive online game though having a more consistent an FPS is going to be an advantage for you. In general though, these are some pretty impressive results. The game might be quite a few years old now, but it is still a pretty demanding game. And the fact that a chip with absolutely no dedicated graphics and just the integrated graphics is able to give this good of a result, and visually speaking the game looks good as well, means that overall this is a really impressive result. Considering this is one of the last showings that we'll ever really be seeing of Vega, it is overall impressive the result that you can get out of it though considering that it is still struggling with a title that is this old it just shows that rdna 2 was desperately needed though as of right now it really seems like rdna 3 is not proving to give much of a performance uplift at all really in comparison to rdna 2 but i definitely look forward to seeing vega finally retired still if you're rocking this specific system you are still going to be able to get some pretty nice results in a title like this which is really really nice to see I'll catch you guys in the next one.